We're just a little bit more than two weeks away at the moment. And yet, where is the hype for this fight? One of the best and most important rematches to be made in recent times. Uh, other than Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua being probably made around summer this year, if it does get made. I'm not looking forward to another fight anymore. This is it. This is a big legacy fight. Tremendous pound for pound talents. It doesn't get much bigger, as they say. But the fact it's at 115 pounds, most people aren't going to care. Really, in boxing, most weights below lightweight, you see a big tail off with fanfare. It's just how it is. But 115 pounds is very probably the best division in boxing at the moment. You've got two guys, Kazuto Ioka and Juan Francisco Estrada, who probably deserve to be in the top 10 pound for pound. You've got one guy in Rung Versailles, who used to be in the top 10. And you've got Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, who used to be number one. So loaded with talent. And that's to say nothing of the very good Filipino champion, Yerwin Angahas. Well, we're getting, I think, the biggest fight in the division, the one that we wanted to see for a long time, the rematch between the Nicaraguan and the Mexican. They last fought on the same card on the 23rd of October, and they both looked pretty good. Roman Gonzalez dealt with Israel Gonzalez, uh, pounded out a 12-round decision, and Juan Francisco Estrada dealt with Carlos Cuadras in the rematch, turning up the heat in the later rounds and looking pretty devastating in the process. Roman Gonzalez looked a bit flat at times. I think we saw again the fact that he's not natural at 115 pounds. That physical strength and presence isn't there as much as I've said many times. But Israel Gonzalez was fighting a bit negative. He wasn't always participating and throwing many punches. That makes it a lot harder to open a guy up. In this fight, Estrada is going to be more than happy to mix it up. I think in his mind, he's not just thinking winning. I'm not saying he's going to fight stupid, but he would love to stop Chocolatito in this rematch. They are going to be mixing it up early. Roman Gonzalez, naturally smaller, older at 33, going on 34. He has to be in the absolute prime condition he can get himself into right now. He has to set a high pace. His catching of punches as he comes forward has to be as good as it can ever be right now. And he has to start trying to pick up the rounds, I think. I think he has to fight with a similar kind of passion that he did against Carlos Quadras when he became a four-weight world champion. I think he has to sweep a lot of the first 10 rounds because everything I've seen about Estrada recently, he's great at turning up the heat now later on. In his first fight with Rung Versailles, which he lost, he was tremendous in the 12th round. We saw the real physical strength of him at 115 pounds. It's going to be nice to watch. It is going to be very tough, very close. Everyone seems to agree with that. I'm not sure there is going to be a stoppage this time. I tend to side with what Carlos Quadras has said, who of course knows both men very well. He said he sees this as 60-40 in favour of Estrada. Naturally bigger, bit younger, bit more momentum. And I think he's got a bit more to prove. One of the slightly concerning things I've heard going into this rematch is Roman Gonzalez says he's basically done it all. He's got nothing else to add. He's happy with what he's done. He's a religious guy. I can imagine him looking up to the clouds, seeing his mentor, the great Alexis Arguello, and just saying, listen, you've clocked the game, son. There's nothing else to add. So what is that real emotional reason? I'm sure he's going to show up and he's going to go for it. But I get the sense it's going to be Estrada, the man with that extra gear, physically and emotionally. And as I touched on, he has shown so much physical strength and that ability to shift up the gears later in a fight. Once he gets going, once those counters have chipped away enough, he really starts letting his hands go. Shots to the body will be very important for both men. Estrada is great at threading in uppercuts, which are perfect for an incoming guy like Chocolatito. Another thing Quadra said is he thinks this is going to be a very clean fight. Nice to watch, no doubt. I'm a massive Roman Gonzalez fan. So if he were to win, I'd feel like a bit of a traitor. But I have to go with Estrada. At this point in Chocolatito's career, 
and with how good Estrada is right now, definitely better than he was in 2012, where some people thought he might have even been slightly weight drained uh, at light fly. I don't think Chocolatito quite will have the physical strength or the energy levels to sustain whatever lead he may have and stop Estrada coming back and winning a close decision. That's how I feel about it. I would love to be wrong. I would love to get another wrong notch on my prediction tally. But I think Estrada's got too much of everything at the moment. And with that emotional reason to really want to get revenge, I think it's going to be a superb fight. But I think he's just going to eclipse Chocolatito.